day many marijuana supporters thought would never come is now well, less than three months away. On election day, Ohio voters will decide if marijuana should be legal. WLWT News 5's investigative reporter Todd Dykes live with more on the politics of pot. Todd. Yeah, Mike, strong words today from Ohio Governor and Presidential Candidate John Kasich when asked uh, what Kasich thinks about Issue 3, which would make marijuana legal if approved. Uh, Kasich's camp said he uh, opposes both the amendment and legalization. I then posed that same question to another leader who's sworn to uphold the law. We knew it was coming. You know, we've been talking about uh, uh, marijuana legalization for about two years in major city chiefs' meetings. Soon, talk of legal marijuana could turn to reality if Ohio voters say yes to a pro pot constitutional amendment supported by responsible Ohio. Since the stakes are so high, I asked Cincinnati Police Chief Jeffrey Blackwell what he thinks about the measure known as Issue 3. I don't have a, a stance yet. I do know that there are a lot of issues that need to be worked out. Blackwell is watching the impact recreational marijuana is having on public safety in Colorado, which made the plant legal three years ago. He's also studying the number of people locked up for drug crimes. Nonviolent drug offenses have clogged our criminal justice system for decades, and we've, we've got countless numbers of people, uh, mostly males, in prison um, because of nonviolent drug offenses, and that needs to change. The big question now for Ian James, the head of Responsible Ohio, is if his group can change the negative perception some people have about his group's ballot measure. In addition to those who oppose drug use in general, plenty of pot proponents don't like Responsible Ohio's plan because it would limit marijuana grow facilities to 10 groups of investors. There's always uh, a, a group of folks who want things to be done differently. That's part of democracy. You cannot make everybody happy. James made that statement in early July, adding, Perfection is the enemy of the good. Proof, Ian James thinks his plan has the best chance of success at the ballot box. Well, as for what's next, on Tuesday, the bipartisan Ohio ballot board will meet in Columbus. They'll be getting together to write the language for issue three. We'll certainly keep you posted. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, in addition to limiting the number of statewide marijuana grow sites, issue three would let adults age 21 and older buy, possess, and grow marijuana in limited amounts. If approved, money raised by pot sales would go to local governments and drug abuse and treatment programs. New